Hi, this is JB from Not the Lights Over Arkham. This time we are concluding the campaign run with Finn Edwards through the Dream Quest campaign and we are in the scenario where the gods dwell. Uh, last scenario I actually noticed while I was uh, uh, clearing out the uh, uh, scenario uh, I had a wrong encounter set in the encounter deck. I had the one with the crawling mist and the hidden cards that I drew a lot in that uh, playthrough, but I feel like that encounter deck is harsher than the correct one that deals damage or horror usually when you fail a skill test. Uh, so I think I keep the result and just let it be because it's my playthrough and I'm not that picky if I make mistakes. That are too hard to find back, but uh, we got six experience from that uh, uh, scenario. So let's look at what we changed in the deck. So only minor change to the deck. I removed two perceptions from the deck. Uh, I haven't played that card that much uh, after the first scenario or the actually the second scenario so I, I didn't even use it in the last scenario we played the dark side of the moon so uh, because in this scenario you are have you will have a lot of high minus uh, chaos tokens in the back uh, i decided to try out one of the newer cards from them into the maelstrom uh, scenario pack or mythos pack from the Insmart Conspiracy Cycle, Justify the Means. Uh, justify the Means lets you add Chaos Tokens to the back equal to the difficulty of the skill you are testing and you will automatically succeed. So you don't have to worry about drawing the auto fail or a minus four or minus five or something like that. So I think that will be a really good uh, end game card when we are trying to defeat the copies of a lot of them at the end of the scenario if we <laughs> get that far but uh, that is the only change into the deck so this is the final deck we are uh, facing the last scenario I have already set up the scenario uh, we start at the plateau of Leng and there is one clue there and we need to first find a way into the monastery of Leng and after that uh, we have to head to the Onyx Gates and try to find a way to the Onyx Castle where the end game begins, so to speak. But I think that is enough of the Deccan scenario, so let's get started. I have pre shuffled the deck, so let's start by drawing our opening hand. So, again, we are looking for ways to investigate efficiently. So hoping to see uh, Lola Santiago or the lockpicks right at the start. Let's not forget about our starting resources. Uh, we find shortcut Leo De Luca, lockpicks, and uh, Intel report and 25 automatic. So I think we could um, keep the lockpicks and Leo and all the rest so uh, we'll get a lucky cigarette case uh, justify the means times two okay so those came into my hand way too early uh, not happy seeing those but it is what it is I think uh, we start the game by playing Leo then uh, maybe grab a resource or two for the next turn to play the lockpicks and try to investigate. So I think that is our plan. We shuffle the deck and start. So I'll immediately play Leo because extra action for the rest of the game is really powerful in this scenario where we are constantly running out of time. Uh, then I will, uh, I think I'm not playing anything else this turn, but uh, that was the first action. 
Second action, I'll get a resource. Third action, I'll get a resource. This is just because I want to have three resources for the Lopix next turn. And last action, we will just try to investigate here. I am investigating four versus three, so there is a chance to discover the uh, clue here. It is a skull, and uh, skull is minus x. x is the number of the current act, and we are in act one, so we are lucky to grab this clue. And that is our whole turn. No enemies will go to upkeep, we draw a card. Uh, God of Red Handed will get shuffled into the deck because there are no enemies to move into our location, so that is a dead draw, and we gain one resource. So that is the first turn. Unfortunately, we got the God of Red Handed because I would have wanted to see some other good cards in my deck earlier. But what can you do? So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom to the agenda. The threshold is 7. Encounter card for this turn is uh, Whispers of Hypnos. So I will choose uh, Combat because there are, are no enemies to fight. So uh, Combat value gets minus 1. So that is the Mythos phase. So we got a, a pretty easy <laughs> first um, Mythos phase there. Uh, first action we will play the Lockpicks. Second action will move to the cold wastes. It is a two shroud location with one clue. Third action we will uh, investigate. I'm using the lockpicks. So I am investigating 8 versus 2. It's a plus 1. We easily grab this clue. And uh, we are able to advance the act, so I will do that immediately. So, reveal the Monastery of Leng. Spawn the set aside High Priest, uh, not to be this uh, described enemy in the Monastery of Leng. And now, uh, our next goal is if an investigator maneuvered the priest closer and an investigator stunt the priest, defeat the high priest not to be named, uh, described. If the high priest not to be described is defeated, advance. So we need to head into the monastery and defeat the high priest. So let's that guy here. We'll just place it here. And uh, this guy is alert, massive, retaliate. Uh, 5 fight, 3 health per player, and 3 agility. Uh, this enemy cannot make attacks of opportunity. Uh, fast trigger ability. If the enemy is exhausted, spend 1 clues. Uh, remember that you stun the priest until the end of the scenario. This enemy gets minus 3 fights. And uh, the Monastery of Leng has uh, fast trigger ability. Investigators at the Monastery of Leng. Uh, spend one clues as a group. Remember that the investigators maneuvered the priest closer. So I think we will head into the monastery, try to get the clues, and do those actions to defeat that priest next turn. And uh, uh, last action I will just draw a card. So uh, we get breaking and entering. So that actually gives us options for next turn, but uh, no enemy actions, that guy doesn't have hunter or anything, so we'll go to the upkeep phase, we draw a card, another Leo de Luca, and one resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add another doom, encounter card uh, for this turn is... Uh, deeper slumber. Revelation put deeper slumber in the play in your threat area. Your maximum hand side is reduced by 3 and is checked after each time you draw one card. Double action discard deeper slumber. So that doesn't affect us at the moment. We are within our hand limits. 
but uh, we'll see. First action, I will get a resource. Second action, we'll move into the monastery plank. Uh, third action, I will play uh, breaking and entering, playing two. So uh, we add our agility to the test. So eight versus three. It's a minus four. Uh, we are successful. Uh, if you succeed by two or more, you may automatically evade an enemy at this location. This attack doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity, so we don't take attacks of opportunity. This guy doesn't even deal those, but uh, we won't weren't able to succeed by two or more, so we only get the blue. Oh yeah, these were spent. Advance in the last act. Uh, last action, we will. Uh, this should be ready, so we'll use the lockpicks. And we are investigating 8 versus two, uh, 3. I think I will commit Leo because uh, why not? So 9 versus 3. It's a skull. Now the skull is minus 2, so we are able to succeed and get this. And now we can do this and this to spend the clues as a group. So the priest, the high priest, not to be described, has been uh, defeated. So we'll put it in the victory display. And then we immediately advance. Actually, yeah, uh, we have to wait for to the next turn. So we have done those things, but that costs an action. So we have to do it next turn. So this guy unfortunately hits us once. I'll just put the damage on myself for now. And that is our turn. And that is the enemy turn also. This should be actually discarded. So, uh, we'll go to upkeep phase, we ready up our cards, draw one, we get the 25 automatic, and we gain one list. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, the encounter card is, uh, dreamer's curse, just will power 5, for each point you fail by, take one damage to a maximum of them for the purpose of counting icons committed to the skill test. Every other icon except the will and uh, the wild icons are one, and will and wild icons are two. So we probably don't want to take too much damage this early. Uh, so I'm committing the lucky cigarette case to this test. So I am uh, re. Uh, well, I think we're not committing anything. We can't push the test high enough to have a good chance of succeeding. So let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm uh, 1 versus 5. Call this. This isn't good. Minus 2. So we take 3 damage and we are. Uh, Unfortunately, pull the cultist, so we have to put one room on the current agenda, and we take three damage. So, okay, first action. Uh, now we will uh, use the action on the act to defeat this guy. Uh, oh yeah. I could have uh, tried to evade that guy last turn, but again, that guy has alert, so that might have resulted in even more damage. So, let's advance. Uh, a whole fate. So, we defeated the uh, uh, high priest with the ability on Act 2. So, 
a different plot text. I won't go into detail about those, so we just deleted it. Next, uh, beyond dreams objective, if uh, each investigator is at the Onyx gates and no clues are on it, advance. So next up, we will head to the Onyx gates. So second action will be here, third action will go to here. Onyx gates has 12 uh, clues on it, except uh, Onyx gates gets uh, plus one shroud per investigator, so it's two and 12 clues. Post. After Onyx Gates is revealed, check campaign log, remove one clue from Onyx Gates for each tally mark recorded next to the evidence graph. And we had tally marks uh, of 11, so there is only one clue here. So, last action, we will use the lockpicks. We will investigate and it's a zero, so we grab this clue and we will advance. Where the gods dwell, each investigator loses all of their clues, read scenario internal brand design in the campaign guide, then advance to act for a truth and lies. Just place that card over here. And this is a longer mid-game setup and... Well, uh, I'll do the setup after I have uh, uh, done the... Uh, upkeep, so no enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, we find track shoes, that is actually really good, we gain one resource, and that is basically that turn, uh, we have only five cards in hand, so this is okay, and this is ready. so I'll do the mid game setup between turns, and we'll continue from there. So we did the uh, mid game setup, so we entered Great Hall, and at that point, um, yeah, uh, one thing I almost forgot is to remove the Randolph Carter from our deck. i just remove it now. So uh, Randolph turned out to be a lot of tap and killed off a uh, virtual grey and uh, retreated into the shadows. Uh, we added a bunch of encounter cards into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile and two copies of a lot of tap randomly chosen. We chose this. Uh, Forsaken Tower locations uh, from the six available at random and place them on the north, south, east and west side of the Great Hall. And uh, that is basically it. So now we have to... Uh, uh, objective, find and expose Nualatotep's true form by... Uh, yeah, adding copies of Nualatotep to the victor display with one plus one copies per investigator are in the display advance. So even though there is one more act like that, this is the final act of the true solo game when you are playing the shorter campaign version. So uh, we'll start our turn by adding a doom and taking an encounter card. And it is a restless journey slice curse very hidden revelation secretly add this card to your hand cannot commit more than one card to skill test each round. And uh, discard restless journey and test agility 3. If you fail, place one doom on the current agenda. This effect can cause the current agenda to advance. So, uh, because we got a card, we have to immediately check our hand size, and it is on 5, so I have to lose one card, and it will be the lucky secret case. Okay, so um, I think first action will be take a resource, second action will play the track shoes. Uh, third action will be to... Um, actually, I'll do the double action to get rid of this. I think we have plenty of time at this point to get rid of this annoying Treacheries. Next turn we might try to get rid of this uh, restless journey, but that is our whole turn. So pretty much just setting up to start uh, hunting a lot of tap. No enemies. We go to upkeep, we do a card, another lock picks, and gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. 
Uh, we are at 6 of 7 doom. And Count Cardis, uh, Mr. is chanting. So there are no cultist enemies in play, so we search for one. And. Uh, Well, good thing we had to search for a cultist enemy from the deck because both of the copies of uh, this guy were uh, past the midpoint of the deck, so we wouldn't have saw seen them anytime soon. So I think uh, we, we have to just take an acolyte shuffle and hope the Nurlato Teps won't uh, sink to the bottom of the encounter deck. Oh yeah, and uh, even though the scenario says that if you talk about Nyal Atatep, you go insane. Uh, that is just uh, stupid when you are uh, making a video of this game, so I won't uh, note that uh, rule. And I think it's more for multiplayer, so you can't tell uh, your co-players that you are holding on your Atatep. So, don't bother with that. Okay, so we get this cultist. It spawns into any empty location. I'll just go here, and uh, it gets one food from it. But luckily, that doesn't matter because uh, next turn we are advancing either way, so that doom goes away, and we don't have to care about that acolyte at the moment. So uh, let's start our turn. Uh, first thing I'll do the. Uh, agility test for this uh, restless journey, fast action. I am testing uh, 5 versus 3. And it's a minus 2, so we get rid of this. And first action will go down here. Uh, so, Forsaken Tower of Primeval Light, you cannot use this location's ability unless other, another card explicitly allows you to do so. All of those locations have the same text, so I won't read that, need that again. Action, choose and reveal a copy of Nyarlathotep from your hand and test willpower. Uh, X, where X is Nyarlathotep's printed health, if you succeed, and that copy Nyarlathotep to the victory display. Failure lot of attacks you and is shuffled into the counter deck. And uh, there is one clue here. And uh, uh, I forgot to tell about this one. So, action spend one clue. Look at the top three cards of the counter deck. Uh, draw each of those cards with the hidden keyword and discard the rest. Objective find and expose your lot of to form uh, by defeating those. So, uh, we need those clues to. Uh, Seek out Nualatotep from the and the hidden cards. We need to reveal him. So uh, second action is to investigate. I'm using optics. So nine versus uh, four. It's an elder sign. Uh, we succeed. We won't break a optic. We grab this clue and. Uh, I think uh, we'll do an action and look at the just check, so it's top three cards. One, two, three. Nice, and uh, it's north, we need to head to north, and we have one of these bad guys. Those both get added to our hand, this goes to the discard. Uh, last action, we'll move up here. And that is our turn. No enemy actions. We got upkeep. Uh, we draw a card. We get nimble. And let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is okay. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Now uh, we add a doom. So the agenda unfortunately advanced because now. Something bad will happen because we are holding that guy. So the fire of dreams. 
If it is Act 4, read the following. Place clues on each for second tower location until uh, it has clues equal to the clue value so one there. Reveal each copy of Neolatotet in each investigator's hand. Each investigator who did not reveal a copy of Neolatotet must take one damage on or one horror. For each copy of Neolatotep revealed by an investigator, the investigator must choose. Neolatotep immediately attacks that investigator and is shuffled into a country deck. Uh, or Neolatotep immediately attacks that investigator three times and is returned to hand. So uh, I have to take the latter option. So Neolatotep will attack us three times. I honestly don't want to lose this because we are so close to defeating it and uh, this new lot of the deals damage so we'll unfortunately take 3 damage which is uh, quite a lot we are 1 damage away from getting defeated but uh, I feel we are either going to win this fast or just trying and this is returned to our hand. Counter card for this turn is well, we get this other copy, which is actually pretty good. Now we just need to dig for uh, uh, this kind of card and we actually win. But yeah, let's head up to the North Tower for our first action. So, uh, fight, choose, and reveal. Copy of Neolant of Test from your hand and fight if it has if, if it were at your location, if you succeed at that copy of Neolantotep to the victory display, if you fail your Lantotep attacks you is shuffled back. But this is why we added um, these skill cards to our deck, justify the means. So uh, let's see this uh, actually is harder to fight. I think we pick that one. Uh, then we second action we will uh, do that action and now we can activate this ability so let's see so this gets discarded and shuffled into the deck if we, or shuffled into the deck if we fail this but um, we will justify the means and the difficulty is four which means we have to add four curse tokens into the chaos pack. But this copy of Nua Lototep is defeated and added to the victory display, and this gets discarded. Then uh, this is discarded. Uh, next, I will spend one clue and look at the three, top three cards. Hoping to see one of those, and we find it. So, other cards are discarded. South. So, we just have to head back south, and we will win the scenario. So, this is uh, actually looking quite good at the moment. Uh, no enemy actions. We go to upkeep. We draw a card. Smuggled goods. Nice. Nothing bad. Seven cards. You're okay, one uh, resource, and that is that turn. Let's see if we can win the scenario on the next turn. Okay, so we are super close of uh, beating the scenario this early. So we add a doom. Hopefully the encounter deck is, uh, goes easy on us. And we find the whispers, whispering chaos east. So this but I think because there is the coldest there, so we need to mark that there. Forgot about that. Uh, we'll head to the south one. So that is the mythos phase. We are alive. First action, we move here. Second action, we'll activate this ability. And we are testing uh, willpower X, where X is the health. So it's four. But um, again, we justify the means, so we add four curse tokens into the bag. We don't even need to draw any of them. And this no lot of them is defeated. 
and we advance. So uh, when one plus one copies are defeated or in the victor display advance, the true shape. So uh, we don't have. Uh, uh, the silver key or the black cat doesn't know the truth because we are playing the uh, four-parter campaign so those are impossible so we just get resolution one and resolution one in your campaign log record the dreamers escape from Nur Lothotep's grasp each investigator earns e experience equal to victory or x value on each card in the display each investigator suffers two mental trauma from the battle between truth and fiction within their own dreams. The investigator must decide choose one. Pick up, skip to resolution three, remain on the surface of the dreamlands, or venture into the underworld to find your companions. Choose this option only if dreamers know of another path. Okay. Mm. So I think we just wake up. So, in your camp log, record that dreamers awoke. If you are playing, well, we are not playing as a. Oh, yeah, uh, if you are playing as a four part campaign, the investigators win the campaign. And that is it. So, Finn Edwards was able to beat the dream quest, and uh, I'd say rather easily. Uh, this deck absolutely trusts this campaign, and. Of course, this end part of this scenario is really luck dependent. As you saw when I was searching for the cultist, both copies of the Nualato that were uh, past the middle part of the encounter deck, and this is not uh, really a thin encounter deck. So after the reshuffle, we got really lucky because both of the copies and uh, enough of these were uh, up at the top of the deck so we were able to uh, defeat those quite easily and justify the means uh, even uh, even if we got that card th both of these cards in the opening hand after the mulligan uh, I just hang on to them and not spend it anything else but those tests that will defeat her lot of them because if you fail that test uh, and a lot of the gets shuffled back into the encounter deck and that will cost you so much time and effort to get those cards back uh, so uh, that is why I think this is a really strong card for this scenario but yeah, Finn Edwards uh, we got uh, experience uh, 6 experience and no matter because we are not continuing with this deck but uh, that is a true solo uh, win for the Dream Quest. Hope you guys like this playthrough and this campaign series. Thanks for watching and until next time.